What is going on, everybody? And in this video, we're providing a state of the market in the stock picks for May 25th, 2023. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, consider subscribing as we do provide daily and weekly updates to get you prepared for the day and the week ahead in this glorious market. So today was the day we had a lot of yelling uh, talking today. Uh, there's a lot of big concerns there. Uh primarily being with a debt ceiling and something I talked about when this whole debt ceiling thing started, we started getting closer, right? We're about a week out from the quote unquote uh, deadline. Uh, now, again, there's been a lot of whispers that we're not really sure if June 1st is really the drop dead date. We think maybe we might be funded till August. Uh, Yellen is very much against that saying it's the first uh, we don't really know uh, what the exact numbers are uh, from what we uh, assume or what, what I've heard is essentially that, um, you know, from the after the taxes and everything, the Treasury essentially didn't get as much as they expected. So this is why we're kind of dealing with this June deadline. Now, uh, something that is very interesting is uh, and I talked about, like I just discussed, is. Uh, Fitch is reporting considering cutting the U.S. credit rating from triple A. This is what I talked about before. I was more concerned about this happening than actually defaulting. Now, this happened back to us in 2011, and the stock market essentially crashed, right? And um, because, again, we got uh, our credit cut, right? That's definitely not a good sign. And so that was my bigger concern. And the fact that it's being mentioned right now is not a good sign. And considering that they are not hitting a deadline or a deal uh, is, again, very, very concerning. Uh, now, with that being said, you still have all the other things going on. You still have uh, the Fed potentially... Um, you know, raising and increasing rates. Uh, but before we even get into that, let's talk about the FOMC notes. So uh, to end that, again, with the, the with the credit, uh, the debt ceiling going on right now, that's ongoing discussion. Uh, the fact that they're bringing it up now means they're probably pretty cl close to actually downgrading the U.S. Uh, credit rating, which is, again, not a good sign. Again, that alone would crater the market. Uh, so that is something we have is going. We're going to be walking on pins and needles for the next couple of days until that deadline gets done. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Then we still have the banking crisis. And then also we have the FOMC notes that came out today. And what I was looking for there again was looking for recession talks. Now, there were some interesting things that uh, did come up of that. Uh, the Fed sees uncertainty over the uh, over future rate hikes. Uh, now, this is something that they were kind of talking about. And Powell said that, you know, he thinks that rates are at a good level that they could potentially pause. Uh, but the more and more and closer we get to the next monetary policy, one thing I'm noticing is that they're talking about increasing rates even more. And we essentially notice it going from a pause since the last monetary policy to essentially every new uh, piece of information or data set that comes out that they are increasing and the odds are increasing that we're going to get another 25 point basis move. Again, we are still three weeks out. And again, they try to open up these notes essentially um, or trying to open up the fact that they want to leave all options open just in case. Uh, they did talk in the notes about uh, default uh, threatening a tighter financial conditions. Again, if we get a downgrade, that could, that's going to cause a huge, huge problem, uh, especially for the banks. You understand the banks are in a bad state uh, anyway, right? Uh, but the Fed sees a mild recession in late 2023. Again, there's more recession talks. Again, people are trying to look to see, is it the majority of the Fed that is really feeling like this is gonna be, going to be a recession? I already feel like we are in a recession. It's only going to get worse in the Q3. Uh, inflation is still unacceptably high. Again, we are supposed to be at 2%. They aimed for 2% by July. Again, I don't see that happening. I think inflation from this point is going to get very sticky in what's going to be the problem. Uh, additional policy firming may be appropriate. So Again, talking about credit and other uh, potential credit issues there, um, tightening, uh, continuing to move forward and essentially using other tools uh, to try to uh, kill demand is what the Fed is trying to do. And so uh, you got that and then you have 
the market in which, and there's some some odds favoring the market. You can see why the market's kind of holding as well, because on normally what happens, the odds are in favor that when we do hit a pivot, uh, the market does push up for three months. Um, now that's in favor. Uh, it has gone down, um, but also understand that um, after the three months and when we actually start cutting rates, right, the market drops about 20 percent uh seven out of nine times and the other two times that the market actually stay positive on cuts uh the market levels were normal we didn't have inverted bond yields like we do now uh the market cratered uh 20 percent with it and when we only when we had inverted bond yields like we have now and so that's what i'm saying there's there's a lot of uh misinformation going on here and there is a battle Right. You can't really say that we are in a new bull market because there is a battle and we're only pumping off of this news uh, that maybe investors are, are educated to know that, you know, after a pause, the market will push up. Uh, but how far will it push up? Right. Will it only push back up to forty two hundred or will it push up to forty three hundred? Uh, the question is, is, is we've been chopping a lot. And and so there will be a huge move. But which way will it go? Um is the question and again uh, considering that we are facing the debt limits uh, as well if we get downgraded for that that could be uh, what essentially does it what uh, calls or calls the fed calls upon the fed to have to pause immediately and then potentially start cutting rates uh right and that might lead into more uh well if we're already selling because of the debt ceiling stuff you know you might as well price in a recession at that point and then take it from that point and it could lead it into a, a cascading effect and so that's one thing you definitely have to be careful of um again not saying you can't take advantage of this market there's a lot a lot of people that are in cash because of what's going on the, the market is very misleading on which direction it's trying to go um especially since you have a lot of retailers whose knowledge of the market has been only up for a very long time and last year was a very challenging year for a lot of people that uh I realize that the market just doesn't go up. <laughs> so, like I said, we still need that normal cycle. Uh, end of year, I think that's uh, projecting a little too far. I think we are in a recession right now uh, that the Fed is determining. Again, I think the Fed are, over, are overshooting this, something I've been talking about. And I think uh, that will come back and nip him in the butt here pretty s sooner than later. Uh, and I think that um, the way they see it, we do have uh, GDP tomorrow. Uh, so if we started getting negative GDP, um, which we've seen huge drop in GDP, and then you have the PCE on Friday, again, if anything, leading more so towards recession is going to be very, very concerning. Um, and then, no, we got a little ways here before we're going to head into June. And then uh, we got one more month before we start the whole earnings cycle all over again. And so... Again, there's a lot of information going on, um, but right now we're definitely going to have to see what does play out. And so uh, from that being said, again, anything can change. If we get downgraded, you're going to have to be careful of that because it, it's, it's happened to us in 2011 with Yellen, with um, with Biden as VP, right? This has happened and we essentially cratered, right? And um Maybe that that is a catalyst we're looking for. We're looking for some sort of catalyst. Uh, maybe that pulls us down enough. And then who knows when the recession of the timing of the recession, those numbers will drop. So again, we'll play it by ear. But right now, uh, NVIDIA did really well, as far as I'm aware. Uh, and, and they kind of pushed a lot of the tech uh, industry back up because there was a lot, a lot of uh, talk about AI Obviously, that's a hot topic. That's why essentially the index is even up from where it is uh, because everybody's running to the safe havens and those top seven uh, uh, stocks are, are tech or growth uh, growth stocks. So that being said, let's take a quick look at uh, what we got for technicals. Uh, so technical wise, oops, I jumped to the wrong one here. Let's look on the daily here. Again, back down to that level to that uh, roughly around that 41. We're going to see if we're going to break this. Ultimately, we may go down to 4058 if we break that tomorrow. Again, this this credit thing, you have to understand, and this is a really big concern. If we get downgraded, um, 
that's going to set us back, right? And understand that's going to lead more into a a depression, a global depression-like state if that has happened. Uh, So we don't want to be losing our AAA rating. Uh, We'll see what happens in the next couple of days. Uh, They want to play chicken or whatever the case is, uh, as a political game. Uh, They're going to have to come up with something quick. And if it doesn't, uh, I don't think we're going to default, but a downgrade is just as bad. Uh, or bad enough, I should say, uh, that we won't even. It really won't matter. I don't think we're going to default, but a downgrade would would sir be a a, a sharp uh, hit to the gut <laughs> for the U.S. Nonetheless, uh, so watch those levels again. Forty two hundred is still the top end. I'm watching there. Bitcoin is losing some steam um, as well. It's down to twenty six twenty three again. Not looking too great. The market doesn't look really in great shape either. Uh, if we get downgraded, everything's going to go with it. Uh, Bitcoin included, crypto. Uh, still watching this twenty four k level. Let's see if it holds there. If not, uh, could be headed lower uh, again down to the sixteen level. Uh, so could be a strong possibility there. Uh, Tesla. Uh, started showing some weakness early this morning. Kind of gave a little bit of a pop today. Again, anything AI chip related uh, because of N- NVIDIA and a- AI related. So everything kind of pops after hours. We'll have to see how that holds overnight. But did have a bit of a pop there. Um, again, the ceiling here is still the 200. Um, it needs to hold this 176. If it can't, uh, that could be a big issue there. Uh, PLTR um, break. Is this the retest of the ascending wedge for the dump? I'm hoping so, but we'll have to see. Again, I want to add more of this. Uh, a downgrade would be nice too, because then this would pull this way back pretty quickly. Uh, but we'll have to see. But that's what we're looking at tomorrow. Um, again, this us pushing up. It's really the 13. We're going to have to break above 13 if you want this thing to continue up. Otherwise, uh, this parabolic move is just not going to hold. And people assuming it will and just go to a hundred, a uh, hundred bucks by uh, next week is just not going to happen. <laughs> uh, not now, but um, yeah, I think it's a strong possibility. It could very quickly, but just not now. I uh, need a couple more profitable quarters moved into SPX. I think you could uh, have a good solid um, uh, potential talk there for uh, PLTR to run pretty heavy. So. Uh, BA, again, still holding 195, trying to break the 220. Um, again, all depending, I think, on the downgrade right now. That's that's the biggest thing, the biggest concern. Uh, once, once we get out of the debt uh, ceiling stuff, then we're going to go back to bank crisis, I think, in my opinion. Uh, Edward JPM is showing a lot of weakness. We'll see if it can hold this 134 tomorrow. If it can't, still looking for that gap fill down at 128. Uh, and then kind of resting here at the 123. Again, breaks the 123 level. Uh, then you're potentially looking down here. I think you got a big drop down here all the way down to the 110 mark. So kind of watching that. Again, if banks start leading the way. Uh, Bank of America had a huge sell-off this morning. Um, you can see it better on the one hour, but uh, had a huge sell-off this morning. Uh, it needs to really hold this uh, $28. Uh, dollar mark. If not, uh, could be headed lower back down to the 2730. Again, a lot of these stocks are pretty beaten down uh, for the most part. So again, we'll see overnight is going to be extremely important, especially if they're talking about credit downgrades. That means it's it's pretty close to happening. Uh, so again, if they want to push this thing into the weekend, uh, I think you're going to get a downgrade if that happens. Uh, if this thing is not done by Friday, I think you could potentially get a downgrade by Friday. Uh, which could be interesting and lead to a lot of other problems. So with that being said, uh, just keep your eyes and ears peeled and uh, just be ready for anything. And uh, like I said, you can play both ways uh, as long as you're taking profits. I think is important along the way. Uh, you know, right. If your stock jumps up 30 uh, percent, you need to be taking profit, in my opinion, in this market, uh, because uh, we still have too much bad news to play out before this thing completely pivots and runs for the moon. Like I just gave you the stats. Um it's not looking good, right? Even if we do pump for three months, uh, just be well aware that right after that, uh, you could, uh, it's typically a 25 point move from whatever that pump is in the three months. So just be very careful of that. So with that being said, um, have a great one and I'll see you guys on the next one.